plastic. Now I'm going to be, uh, give you a glimpse of our hardware and what all sensors we interface and how we show the data. So if you come closer, you can have a look. This is how our data logger looks like. It is a weather station data logger as it is written, written in the sticker. So this is the outer interface. There are different connectivities as you can see the ports are there. How we integrate multiple sensors via bio medium. And when I'll open this, now you can come close and you can have a look at the readings of the logo. So there are multiple parameters like soil, conduct, like temperature, humidity, the readings of which are wind speed, wind direction, rainfall and solar radiation, soil moisture, soil temperature and soil conductivity and pan evaporation. So there are 10 parameters that are being monitored in the data logger having a GSM and GPRS connectivity in this. Now the other crucial part is the GSM connectivity. If you can see here, there's a SIM module which is attached in it. You have to insert the SIM here and uh, for any GSM connectivity to your phone and all the wiring has been done. Now I'm going to show you different kind of sensors that are attached. So this is the basically sensor of soil moisture temperature and conductivity. It's a three in one sensor. It has dipped in soil and it is giving live parameters to our data logger. Similarly, the other sensors are wind direction, which is uh, like this. A wind speed sensor is there, a barometric pressure is there. Then it is a solar radiation sensor and this is a temperature humidity sensor. So all these sensors are connected to a data logger. The data is given to uh, it as you saw in the display. The data gets stored in it and it can be shared to GSM, GPRS, cloud connectivity. Similarly, the data can also be shown at a PNL and it is here. So this we have prepared for one of our customers, the Indian Council of Agriculture Research, ICAR, the combination. And you can see the live data, live readings of multiple parameters like conductivity, evaporation and other parameters are just shown here with the respective units. So the data is transferred through Modbus connectivity and it keeps on reflecting and it can be added as per requirements. Thank you.